Absolutely. Uh, let me ask Greg, um, you, well, you can talk about anything you want, but I, can I throw one other question at you? Sure. We talked about how, what this means for all the other Republicans, but what might it mean for Hillary Clinton, who yesterday her campaign said that she's probably going to wait until July. Does this change her calculus? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know that. I think it's important for the Republican <laughs> Party to identify their contemporary Reagan and jettison the novelty acts and those preening for attention. Because um, if they don't do that by 2016, you will have a President Clinton and five new Fox News contributors. Um, <laughs> this election, but th this election is about presenting a smaller target. When a Republican makes a small gaffe, it will be transformed into a supernova by the media. But if a Democrat is caught with a giraffe and a box full of sex toys, the New York <laughs> Times will call him an animal lover. So the point is, it's not just uh, going against Hillary, and I've said this before, it's going against the press. And here's an uncomfortable fact, and I will leave, end with this. Romney would have been a great president. There is no question about that. He was a lousy campaigner, but if you look at him and you listen to him, he is a good man. And if you had a crystal ball and it showed 2016 President Romney, the entire country, liberals included, would breathe a sigh of relief and they would say, finally, an adult in the room. But well, sadly, he couldn't make that argument himself. You know what? You're good.